comparatives and superlatives are used to compare people, places, or things. Here we have three animals a dog, a horse, and an elephant. How can we compare these three animals? Let's compare the dog and the elephant with the adjective fast. We say a dog is faster than an elephant. Faster is a comparative. A comparative compares two things, in this case, a dog and an elephant. Now let's compare the horse with the other two animals. We say the horse is the fastest, which means the horse is the fastest of the three animals. Fastest is a superlative. A superlative compares one thing to all the others in the same group. In this case, we are comparing the horse to the other animals in the group, which are the dog and elephant. Now we need to learn how to make a comparative and a superlative. When an adjective has one syllable, such as fast or young, we put er at the end of the adjective to make it a comparative. The adjective fast has one syllable, so we just add er to the end of it, faster. The adjective young has one syllable, so we just add er to the end of it, younger. Look at the example again. A dog is faster than an elephant. We say faster and not more fast as you do in some other languages. Also, it is important to use than after the comparative. Faster than, slower than, younger than. To make a superlative, we add est to the end of the adjective. Fast becomes the fastest. Young becomes the youngest. It is important to have the article the before the superlative. The horse is the fastest. Again, since the adjective has one syllable, we do not say the more fast. No, we say the fastest. When an adjective has one syllable but ends in an E, such as nice or strange, we just add an R to the end of the adjective to make it a comparative. The adjective nice becomes nicer. The adjective strange becomes stranger. And for a superlative, just add st. So nice becomes the nicest. Strange becomes the strangest. Look at these three monsters, Dean, Harry and Frank. Harry is nicer than Frank. Yes, Frank looks like a grumpy monster. But of the three monsters, I think Dean is the nicest, because he has a gift for you. Of the three monsters, which is the strangest? When an adjective has one syllable and ends in a consonant plus a short vowel plus a consonant, such as big and hot, we double the last consonant and add er for the comparative and est for the superlative. For example, big 
ends in a consonant, B, a short vowel, I, and another consonant, G. So we double or make two of the last consonant. With the word big, the last consonant is G. So we need two G's. Big becomes bigger with two G's. The superlative is biggest, also with two G's. Look at the weather on these three days, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. How can we compare these three days using the adjective hot? Sunday was hot. Monday was hotter than Sunday. But Tuesday was the hottest day. When an adjective has two syllables, such as happy or crazy, and the adjective also ends in the letter Y, we remove the Y and add I-E-R for the comparative. So, happy becomes happier. For the superlative, we also remove the Y and we add I-E-S-T. So, happy becomes the happiest. Crazy becomes crazier and the craziest. Here are three children, Susan, Mary and Mike. How can we compare these three children using the adjective happy? Mary is happier than Susan. Mike is the happiest. When an adjective has two or more syllables, we do not add ER or EST to the end of it. The adjective famous has two syllables, famous. So we cannot say famouser. No, it doesn't exist. For comparatives, we use the word more before an adjective with two or more syllables. So, famous becomes more famous. For superlatives, we use the words the most before the adjective. So, famous becomes the most famous. Expensive has three syllables. Expensive. So, expensive becomes more expensive and the most expensive. Let's compare a bike, a car and a plane as ways of traveling. How can we compare them using the word expensive? A car is more expensive than a bike. The plane is the most expensive way to travel of the three. Of course, there are always exceptions in English. Two common exceptions are the adjectives good and bad. With good, the comparative form is better. And for the superlative form, we say the best. For example, you are a better singer than John. Yes. We do not say more good, no. And we do not say gooder, no. We say better. With bad, the comparative is worse and the superlative is the worst. For example, it was the worst decision she had ever made. We do not say most bad or baddest, no. We say the worst. 
There are more exceptions, such as far and little, but we will see these in another video. Thanks for watching this video, and remember to subscribe to our channel. It has been scientifically proven that subscribers to Woodward English are 69% more intelligent than those who have not subscribed. Leave a comment saying, I am one of the 69% if you have subscribed to our channel. Have an awesome day!